thank you, Father God, for blessing us today. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing me to be present, Father God, in the wonderful name of Jesus. <clears throat> Father God, my prayer is today that, Holy Spirit, that you would take control. Lord God, that you would lead in God and direct in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as I stand before your queens, uh, Lord God, and soon to be kings in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that I come to decree and declare your word. Father God, my prayer is that, Lord God, that I would decrease so that you would increase. Lord God, I pray that they see none of me and all of you, Father God. I thank you that you've given me fire in my hands, fire in my feet, and fire in my belly, and even fire in my eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord God, we said amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Lord. Come on, let's go. Lord. Today in the wonderful name of Jesus, there is a word in the house in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. And in case you're taking any notes, which I encourage you to, the word that God has for us today is called build. Build. B-U-I-L-D. Build. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Build. It's time to build. Hallelujah. It's time to build. Hallelujah. Some of you may not know what we're talking about. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Time to build. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. A minute ago, some of y'all might as well just receive. I'm going to get that right now. Yes, Lord. It's time to build. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And as the Lord directed the word, I said, Lord, what exactly? I said, Lord, what are you talking about? You know, because, Lord, I build there's so many things that I that I can see in the natural that we need to build. Yeah. And the Lord God said, my Jesus. daughter, I want you to learn that we need to build up one another. Yeah. 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 I said, all right, Lord. Yes. Yes. You're like, wait a wow. minute. Yeah, it's good to build oh, the building. Absolutely. But if you don't build up the people for the building, yeah. right. the people yeah. will never make it. All right. Yeah. Ah, come on now. You gotta let it build up. Right. The Amen. people will never make it. You can have a building with no people. No people. Yeah. Ah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Build up the people. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You gotta let them build them up. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. I tell them now. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, they got a lot of oh, they got a lot of Lord. buildings. Yes. They got a lot of buildings. Oh, They're build beautiful it. temples. Yes. Oh, we just gonna tell the truth and say right. Jesus. beautiful temples. Yes. yes. And everybody in it is torn down. Yes. 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 Torn down. Yes, Lord. Or you can say you went to a beautiful place. Yes, I went to a beautiful yes. place. Yes. But everybody in it is torn down. down. It's torn up from the floor. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Yes, Lord. But you know what? It's tight, but it's right. Yes. 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 The Lord God said it's time to build yes. up. Yes. Time to build up as we come together today. In the name of God. I'm going to the book of Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You're like, wait a minute, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes. Amen. Amen. Chapter 3. You should know. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Amen. Hallelujah. Love to hear the pages turning in the name of Jesus. Get there, get there. Hallelujah. I want you to put your eye on the word. Hallelujah. Don't go by what I say. Go by what you see in the word. Come on now. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 talks about the passage... Everything has a time. Yes. Amen. 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 Am I right about this? Amen. Yes, Lord. Everything has a time. I'm leaning toward verse number three. Ecclesiastes three and three. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now the beginning part of that says a time to kill mm -hmm. and a time to heal. Mm -hmm. A time to break down Amen. and a time to what? To build yeah. up. Amen. I want you to lean on the latter part of that. I want you to lean upon the latter part where the Lord God said it's time to break down and a time to build up. Amen. You know, we got to break down some things. Yes, you got to break down a neg negative attitude. Yes. Yeah. Break down those, those things that are prejudices. You got to break them things down. Break down those things that seem to hold you back. Yeah. You got to break those things down, but you got to learn how to build some things up. Amen. I'm here to tell you that we're living in perilous times. Amen. Come on now. And we must understand that God's word is true. That he's trying to tell that there's a time and a season for everything. In case you realize that maybe you're out of order. Maybe. You're thinking that way. I want you to know the Bible tells me that there's a time and a season for everything that's under the sun. Amen. Everything. Jesus. So what's happening to you now, you're like, wait a minute. No, no, no. Don't. It's not by surprise to God. He's not surprised about what you're going through. He's not surprised that you are where you are right now. The Lord God said there's a time and a season for everything. Yes. You see, if you can get a hold of that, you can stop all your worrying. 
Amen. If you can get a hold of that, you can stop all of your frustration. You must understand that God said, God is in control of this. Yes. Come on yes. now, in the name of Jesus. It's not going to be orchestrated the way we want it. God has everything, time, season. Seed time harvest. Don't make me go there. Come on now. Hallelujah. There's a seed that's planted. There's a time. Seed time and harvest. There's a seed. There's water. And then all of a sudden it's got to grow. And then it's time to harvest. Amen. You want to pull out your seed and it's not even growing yet. Jesus ah, Christ. Come on now. Why would you want to pull good. your seed out and the Lord God said, it's still yes, getting Lord. water. No, no, no. But all of a sudden you want to pull out your harvest. You're not going to get much, baby. Ah, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Right. Yes, time Lord. Is right. It's right. Hallelujah. You got to be right, right, right. And really, God's timing is the right yes. time. Yes. I want you to understand yes. that it's time. Tell your neighbor, tear down. Tear down. To build up. To build up. Tell your neighbor, to stop. Tear down. Tear down. To build up. To build up. As I come to you today, I want you to understand that, you know what, people of God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the title of today's message is Time to Work. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to work. Some of you, it's time to work. You've been Cadillac long enough. It's time to work. What do you mean by Cadillac? It's a worldly term that I use. You just cruise it on easy. You don't pray much. You don't fast much. You don't do much. Hallelujah, but all of a sudden, but you want God to give you much. All right. You do a lot of talking, but not a lot of walking. All right. Pastor. You talk a big Jesus, but do you walk a big Jesus? Oh, yes. you know, your talk got to match your walk. Yes. Come on now. If you're going to talk that he's king of kings and lord of lords, you got to walk that he's king of kings and lord of lords. Yes. We walk by faith and not by sight. Stop looking for everything to manifest in the natural. Yes. Because it comes first in the spirit. Yes. Yes. I'm not telling you yes. that you can't see your Jesus. miracle. But you've got to see it in the spirit first. Yes. Yes. You cannot seem to. What if, things happen in the spirit realm first, then in the natural. Yes. So you must understand everything that you're asking God for, if it has not materialized in the spirit realm first, you will not ever get it in the natural. Jesus. Out and amen. Jesus. You can't tell me that I got yes. some. If you have not seen that thing in the spirit and amen. it's got your name amen. on, that's not yours. In the right. name of right. Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's a tough word, but Woo. take that in the name yes. of Jesus. Because Lord. if you know this, everything that God does, he does it in the spirit realm first. Amen. Everything. He created the heavens and the earth. It was in the spirit realm first, and then he spoke it into existence. Amen. Amen. He saw it before it even existed. Like he saw you before you existed. Amen. Amen. That's what God yes, said. Lord. Be like. yes, Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you as I come today that we're going to learn how to tear down to build up, but it's time to work. Yes. People of God, how many of you? How many of you work? Come on now. I'm just getting up. How many of you work? Come on now. How many of you work? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you're like, well, wait a minute. I don't have... There's some of you, if you're working at home and you're working and praying, I, I don't know about you, but I would have put all my hands and my legs up. Amen. Because yes, that's a job all by oh, itself. Amen. Work. Uh -huh. But I'm here to tell you, right, think, you know what? Right. I want you to know that God said it's time to work. Yes. There's no more time out. There's no more playing church. How done will say it's Jesus. time to work. Now, whenever we come to work, that means, you know what that means is a time. That means you got to start tearing some things down. Uh, yeah, yeah. you got to start tearing some things down. You know what, something's coming up, you know, tear down those negative barriers. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I, you know, it's time to where you cannot let those barriers stay there. If you want to advance and do it, you got to learn how to tear them down. Do you think the enemy's going to let you just walk on into glory? Think of being real. Think about it. you got to learn how to tear down negative barriers. I'll put that in my notes. Tear down negative words. Yes. Tear down yes. some obstacles. Tear down those things that keep tearing down my family. I'm going to tear yeah. down in the name of Jesus. It has a name and it's got to bow the name of Jesus. I'm going to learn how to tear it down. Because in order for you to build up some things, you got to tear some things down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tight, but it's right. I'm going to yes, tell Lord. you. Because uh, let, let, me, let me help you out. If you decide to build on something that's broken, Ooh, it will not Jesus, save no. Amen. It will not last. So that means if you're like, well, no, I'm, I'm not hurting. Oh, no, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You want to build on that? Oh, uh, Jesus. I'm, that's I'm not angry. Oh, no, I'm not mad. Preach I'm not angry. I'm not mad. Oh, I'm going to make the word. I'm mm -hmm. not angry. I'm not mad. I'm not jealous. I'm not upset. Wow. And then you, then you want to build upon the word. Oh, I'm a child. I'm building. But I'm here to tell you. I'm going to let you know your house about to fall. Yes. Jesus. It's about to fall. Why? Because you built it on a shaky foundation. You built it upon sand rather than rock. rock. Because yes. Christ yes. is the rock. You know what the Lord got said? Yeah. You got to tear down. Some of you need to start from ground zero. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Lord God. Oh, you know what? Yeah. You shouldn't be afraid. It's like, Lord God, whatever yeah. you got to do. You know what? Maybe you need to break up the hollow ground. Some of the word of God said, break up the hollow ground. Amen. That means that sometimes you gotta, you know what, Lord? Jesus. I need to break up this stuff right here. Yes. Yes. Because I'm not my foundation yes, not strong. So. You're like, oh, wait a minute, how do you know if your foundation not strong? First little wind or something that you don't like, you're crumbling. 
Maybe the foundation not strong. You're like, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Maybe your foundation not strong. I didn't say your neighbors. I didn't say your mamas. I didn't say your daddies. I didn't say your cousins. I didn't say the pastors. I didn't say. Maybe your foundation is not stable. Amen. So that means that you need to know, break up the hollow ground. Yes, You're going to yes. break it, uh, tear it down Amen. to build it up. Amen. You know what? You say, Lord God, whatever you got, I don't know, but, but you know what the real believers are? Yeah. Whatever you got to do with me, Lord God, do it. Yes. Lord God, whatever you got. Yep. If you got to look at strip me, clean me, whip yeah. me, chasten me, yeah. do whatever you got to do. And Lord, I can be built up in the name of yeah. Because I don't want to be built up on something shaky. But can I'm here to tell you, if you build anything up on shaky ground, I don't care how high you get, it's just how hard you're going to fall. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's a word right there. Jesus. That's a word right there. I'm here to tell you, right. you know what? The sad thing about it, as as people of God, we need to learn. How, you know what? Don't be afraid for the Lord God to, to tear some things down. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be ashamed to let the Lord God break up the hollow ground. Yes. You know what? Everybody's foundation is not good everywhere. Yes. Oh, come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, but you know what? I up, look, wherever my foundation may be weak, Lord, yeah, I don't need yeah, a crack. Yeah. How many of you yeah. know about building? Because yeah. if you got a crack in the foundation, yes. I know it may be years. Yeah. But surely enough, that house gonna come down. Yes. I'm here to tell you, if anybody who knows how to construct, and the reason why I'm yes. saying that the Holy yes. Spirit allowed me to, to watch someone prepare to build a house. Mm -hmm. And you know what they did? They got the ground together. You know what I'm saying? Get your ground together. Amen. That means you get your word to get, yes. get it together. Yes. Mm -hmm. After they got it together, they blocked it off. They walked off the property mm -hmm. and they started, you know, they laid, they put, settled the dirt. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Lord, they gonna put the concrete. You know what the Holy Spirit said? Concrete don't come yet. Amen. You gotta wait till the dirt settles. Ooh, yes. I need to know who's gonna be here and who's not. Wow. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. 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 Don't be so quick to see someone who doesn't know that they, they're just throwing the concrete. But if your ground is yes. not settled, yes. if you're uneasy, if you need deliverance in the area, yes. you're, and you're putting concrete, your concrete all of a sudden over time, you're gonna mm. have a crack. You're gonna be calling somebody to repair your Amen. home Amen. because you have a crack in that. But I got concrete, but did your dirt settle? Yeah. Preach pastor. Wow. That's good. That's good, good brother. Right if you want to go here, there, and everywhere, let me your dirt not settle. All right, now. You need to get a set. You know what? Like, Lord God, I'm content. Me and you, me and you, yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, long as you go before me, then I'm yes, good. Yes, I'm going to yes, tell yes. you. Tell your neighbor that it's tear down. It's tear, tear down. down. To build up. To build up. And as I come today in the name Amen. of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because the word of the Lord God Ooh. said, in order to build, we got to learn how to build up one another. But you got to yes. learn how to tear down some negative. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's going to take some work. Yes. I want you to know what God's calling for you to do today. It's going to take some work. You're going to need to work at it. You cannot just sit by idle and passive. You're going to have to work at it. You know, you're going to say, Lord God, I tear down this thing. You know what? You need to be warfare one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell the enemy, you know what? You're not going to have my family. Yes. You're not going to have my kids. Yes. You're not going to have my finances. Yes. You're not going to have the things that God, I got a blessing with my name on it. Don't you understand? Yes. Yes. You cannot have my healing. You cannot have my deliverance. You've got to take a stand in the name of Jesus. And you got to learn to tear down those things that keep coming up against you. Yes. You cannot, the Lord God says, I've given you my word. Yes. Hallelujah, I've given you my word. You must understand that whenever a negative comes up, you tear it down with a positive. Yes. Hallelujah, Amen. when a negative comes up, you're not going to be anything. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, my God Lord. said that everything he created was good. good. Amen. Amen. Every time you hear a negative, every time Amen. a negative Amen. comes up, you seal it with the positive. That's yes. how you tear down. I'm going to tear down, you know, because I'm here to tell you. And even as we're going to be praying for the young people and the children, at times they may have heard all this negative all their life. Yes. I mean, some of us are fortunate, but some, some you don't know the households that they've been in. Yes. Amen. Some individuals, that's all they've ever heard was negative and yes. not going to be this yes. or that. Yes. And you know what? Like, if you ever tried to build off of that, that's rough because yes. they may be looking like success on the outside, but that's why they're committing committing suicide and Jesus. doing taking their own life. Now they may have all the money in the world, and you wonder what's wrong with them. Yes. They have all the things that they, anybody could ever want, but yet they're killing themselves. Preach, yes. Pastor. That's right. that's true. Not somebody killed them; they're killing themselves. Jesus. Yes. And that's because that they needed to tear down yes. in order for them to be built up. Yes. They needed to tear down some things that was within them that the enemy spoke to them, or that they believed. That I'm here to tell you that people of God. We got to learn how to build up and rather than and tear down the negative and build the person up. You've got to learn how to tear down those negative things, tear down those obstacles, tear down those things that keep bringing and weighing you down. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come and spread the yes, word Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yes. The Lord God said, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I mentioned earlier, anytime somebody tells you that you're not good, that you're not smart, that you're not worthy, 
Jesus. Say everything my father created was good. good. Amen. Amen. Put the word on it. I'm not gonna say put put the word on it. When they said you'll be nothing, just said that you know that God God is with me. God is for me. And if God is for me, who could be against me? You're like, oh wait a minute, I don't, no, you don't have God. you don't have, you can't do this and you can't do that. Say, so, you know what? I can do, I can do all, all things. All things. Through Christ Jesus. Wow. All means all. Wow. All things. All means all. That doesn't limit me to, this is you know, good. I can not just, I cannot just be a, uh, a, uh, Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is good. And not only can I be a pastor, this not only good. can I be a house giver, not only can I, I can be all, everything that my daddy yes, said that I can be. Yes, I can Lord. do all things to Christ. What strength does it mean? Hallelujah. Amen. I can be out there in the world. I can be Amen. blessing somebody. I can be a missionary. Amen. I can be God. Yes, I can Lord. be all. Yes. Amen. That God would have for me to be. Amen. You must understand Lord. that in order for you, and I hope this That's message good. hit home for those that are going to be received, in order for you to be built up, you got to learn how to tear Stay down. down. Yes. Some of you have been living with all of this negativity, and you're like a Lord. You've not ever heard a positive word. You've not ever heard anybody speak positive to you, or, or you feel like you got this generational curse on you. But I'm going to tell you, it's coming to break something. Yes. But tear that down, yes. and you're going to be built up. Yes. You know, we're going to tear down that spirit of poverty. Tear yes, down. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. You know, yes, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be begging. Uh, yes, Lord. Lord. I'm not going to be begging. I'm not trying to beg. I'm not begging. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Nobody Preach, Pastor. Amen. 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 No, 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 I tear down the spirit of poverty. I tear it down in the name of Jesus. Because I'm going to be built up in the yes, name of Jesus. My father was going to hand out a thousand years. Come on now. Amen. But it's nothing for him to give me what I need. Yes, Lord. Hey, I want you to understand that the Lord God said it's time for us to work. No more to allow the world to dictate your future. Amen. Right? Amen. You must not let the world dictate your future. Amen. I want you to turn with me to the book of Acts. How that most Sunday. Acts chapter 20. New Testament. All the way closer to the end of the Bible. Acts. But midway. Acts chapter 20. Amen. The word of the Lord God says, this is how you tear down and be built up. Amen. You tear things down. But you got to learn how to build it up in Acts chapter 20. Yes. I love it. I love what the word of the Lord God says. And 20 and verse number 32. Hallelujah. When you get there, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. And verse number 32, look what the Lord God says. Amen. Hallelujah. So now, brethren, I commend you to what? To God. Yes. And to the word of his grace, which is able to what? Build you up. And give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Yeah. I don't know about you, but God said, I'm doing my double up in here. Yeah, yeah, God yeah. told him, He yeah. said, He's going to build you up and give you an inheritance. Yeah. I like that. I don't know about you. To build you up. I said, The Word of God will not be allow, allow God's Word to build you up when you are torn down. You got to allow God to build you up. You know, it's nothing like for someone to tell you, Very good. Good job. Amen. Yes. Doesn't that build you up? Yes. But what about when your daddy builds you up? Build you up. Yeah. When your daddy yeah. said, You're a beautiful and wonderful yeah. thing. Ah, don't yes, you know you got to go all the glory to God? Yes. That's so God. Yeah. When the Lord said, Build, when God builds you up. That surely nobody can pull you down. I'm here to tell you. You want bold and confident in the name of Jesus. You're like, oh my God. They walk around like they got millions. We do. Yes. Hey. Amen. Amen. Preach pastor. Hallelujah. You think she got a, a, a lot of Preach pastor. She does. Got, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. In my way, every one, every single day. Yes, Lord. It's brand new. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's new to me every time. Amen. Amen. It's yes. Me. Yes. Ain't yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> We need to learn just the same yes. attitude. What I'm trying to say is the word of God that ah. builds you up. Hallelujah. If you let somebody else come and attack yes. you like that, yes. with those negative words, yes. a negative fear, do you realize you'll be just as low as those words are? Jesus. Yes. 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 You know what? Unfortunately, when we were little, we heard that nursery rhyme. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Jesus. I must tell you and confess. That's mm -hmm. a lie. Yes, right, it God. is. That's a lot. Words, words do hurt. hurt. Sticks and yep. stones break your bones, and, <laughs> and words, words do hurt. hurt. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm to tell you, words yes. hurt harder yes. and longer yes. than them. Yes, do. Lord. Right now. You better ask somebody. They got somebody around here. You may have fell down and broke an arm or broke a finger. Somebody still work, walking around with a forty-year-old demon of depression. Amen. Because of words that were spoken over yes. them. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling about the word. You know, we come to expose the devil. Yes, you know, Lord. Y'all don't play those games in the name of Jesus. Don't be fooled by the world telling you. Oh no, that doesn't. Yes, words do hurt. You know what? Yes, God said we're going to be accountable for every word. Amen. You better hear the Holy Ghost. You're going to be accountable for every word that proceeds out of your mouth. So you know what? That should make you like. Yes. You should be like. Yes, Lord. Biting the tongue every time. 
Every right. time you say I work, like, oh, I wish I would just. Woo, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Amen. If it's yes, not about yes. life, you need to shut your mouth. Preach, Pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Stop saying, oh, my God, you can just take me away. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Preach, We're talking about in a good yes, life. What are you talking about when the storms come? Yes, All this thing Lord. is just like a whirlwind. If I could just be swept up in a world, wait a minute. Do you realize you're going to be a comma for them? Yes, yes. Do you realize if you just say all this weight, everything just falling on me? Jesus. Wait, what is going to fall Everything is falling on you. It's going to Idle words. You're like, well, that doesn't make a difference. We are people of God. Words are powerful. Yes. If God spoke the world into existence, what about the words that come out of your yes, mouth? Yes, Lord. The word of the Lord God says, I love it in Acts 20. The Lord God says, so brethren, you must understand that the word, that the word, he said, I commend you to God. That's the that's the main thing. I'm not gonna commend you to I'm not gonna commend you to the to the elders. Amen. I'm not gonna commend you to those that, you know those in authority. I'm gonna commend you to God. Amen. I'm gonna lead you to the one. Look, I'm gonna give you up to God. I like that. I'm gonna commend you to God. And to what to the word. Yes. The word of his grace. How many of you know what grace is? Mm, hallelujah. hallelujah. Grace of I it. Mean, thank God for grace and mercy. Yes. Oh, my amen. God. I thank God that it's fresh in you every morning. Yes. Hallelujah. I need a fresh set every day. I don't know about you, but I don't want to rock right on yesterday's grace. I thank God for grace today. Yes. I thank him for fresh grace. He said that will build you up and, and then give you grace and give you an inheritance. Now that's why I want you to lean right there. I want you to understand that God says you have an inheritance. How many of you know that you have an inheritance? Hallelujah, you have an inheritance. Don't you know you're the seed of the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, that you should, you should know where you come from, baby. Yes. Come on now. Amen. So you can appreciate you're the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that may not mean much to some of you, but that means you're a seed of promise. Amen. You know, you're a seed of promise. There is a difference. Yeah, truly enough, we could have been a seed of Hagar. That's right. Jesus. Hey, there was some of you may not know your Bible, but in Genesis, there were two, there were two, yes. there were two, there were there, there were two. There were two that had children. <laughs> Come on. But one had a bond servant. That's right. And one was under the promise. Now I want you to know that they both were blessed. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to reveal something to you. It's for some meat eaters only. Some of you may not get it, but I pray around this time tomorrow that you would read Genesis 17, verses 19, 19 through 21. You're going to like, my God, that's what Pastor was talking about. Yeah, yeah, because see, Sarah was a seed of promise. Hagar when she was of the bond servant. And God blessed both of them. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. The word God said that he blessed Hagar. Hey he made them a mighty nation. Amen. And many of you know that the nation of Islam. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they are a mighty nation, are they not? Yes. But the difference between the two women is the carrying of the seed. Amen. One carried the seed of promise. Amen. Hallelujah. And the seed of promise. You see, Sarah was not only blessed, but she was also, she was also had the promise. I don't know about you, but I don't want to just be blessed. I want to have the promise. promise. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Because you can be, that, that's a nugget for some of you. Yes, you may be walking around. Yes. You know, we sell a blessing with a name on it. A lot of people like, well, I got my blessing. I got, you know what? I'm blessed and I got a promise. Yes, I don't know about you, but some, some people can jump around and say, well, I'm surely blessed. But baby, let me make it clear to you. I'm not just blessed. I got a promise. Yes, Lord. You may not see it right yes. now, but my daddy promised me. Yes, I Lord. Never see the right yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.